Let's get to work. The first thing you want to do is gather all of your materials. You can find a complete list of the materials and sizes by following the link in the description below to the Instructables page. So we just cut the materials and again you can find all the dimensions on my instructables page which is in the link and now we're gluing them together. You can find the diagram for gluing together also on my instructables page. Oh the yard is a stepping and I'm hiding behind my mountains crying fountains. I switched to a quick drying PVC cement here simply because my slow drying PVC cement was getting a little thick and hard to work with. You're going to want to clamp your PVC end cap down and then chisel off the little bump on the end so that the top is flat. After that you're going to want to drill all the holes in and in this case there's only two holes. They are different sizes though so make sure you switch out drill bits. One hole is for the brass fitting and the other is for the fill valve. The easiest way to attach the brass fitting is with a deep throated socket wrench and an impact driver or a drill and when the brass goes really fast it heats up and melts the threads into the plastic. This is by far the easiest way to do it, and I think it also gives probably the best seal between the plastic and the brass. This piece of plastic that you see me designing here is designed to align the plastic cork with the end of the barrel to keep a good fit. As soon as I'm awake, I'm awake. My body seems grotesque. My arms can pull the sheets back, and my head is hurting. Wake up, sun is up. This is one of the hardest parts to make. It's a one-way valve that attaches to the piston, and so it pressurizes and then also releases. It's going to be used in every single time you shoot the cannon, and so you want it to be really well made. The best way to make it is to mount a little piece of plastic, I use the lid of a Pringles can, on the end of your piston, and then put the plastic in the PVC and heat it up while you push it down so that you know it's going to fit the PVC very precisely. It's a hard step, but it's well worth the effort. There is something about 
this world that I should know by now I'm doing something wrong cause this don't feel right Maybe if I cut my hair and sleep a little more It's the last time on my phone and my time alone Something about this world that I should know by now I'm doing something wrong cause this don't feel right Maybe if I cut my hair and sleep a little more It's been less time on my phone and more time alone The purpose of this little piece of plastic is to keep the piston from coming out of the barrel when you fire the gun. monster 3d print took about 30 hours and the best way to smooth it is to use 120 grit on an orbital sander and then spray it with filler primer then you want to wet sand the filler primer so that it's as smooth as possible and it looks like this after a quick paint job you're almost done all you have to do now is attach the handle to the cannon Mine was such a tight fit, I just used pressure. It ended long ago, so please just let me go. Loving you, loving you, all I do, all I do. Loving you, loving you, cannot be loving you, loving you. This video is pretty long, but I hope you liked it anyways. I realize this wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't tell you to like and subscribe, so do that. Thanks for watching.